when you move up, you got to move up with force. You have to understand, yeah, I was here, but look at me now. Yeah, I was here, but I could do it even better, okay? Make a mad. Period. This one right here. This one right here. What it do? It's your girl, Deja. Welcome back to my channel. Your girl on here looking the way I'm looking, okay? Period. So today, I'm here to talk to you guys about how to deal with a breakup. And specifically for when you're dating in high school. Because high school is a lot. High school is a lot. And I've been there. So I feel like I should tell you guys, don't think you're going to get married to that man. It's high school. You're going to go to college. You're going to meet more people. You're going to be outside one day, like, paying bills, okay? There's going to be a lot of people that's going to come in and out your life. So, dating in high school, it's good to always have in mind that, yes, I like this individual, but do I see myself having kids with this individual? Before you sacrifice that emotional part of you, you know, really look into your future. Don't always live live in the present. I mean, I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with having boyfriends, but don't be out here pressing your boyfriends to put a ring on your finger, okay? Because, boo, they're going to meet lots of women in their life, okay? And just, just recognize that dating is dating. And after you leave high school, you're going to go on dates, like actual dates with random men. To learn about them so don't take dating as a big like this is the biggest advice I could ever give you guys do not take it to heart babe because you're gonna keep growing you're gonna keep meeting people and kind of just accept the man however he came to you whichever reason you liked him like him for that reason don't try to change him because he's gonna change on his own time just how you're gonna change your instrument your interests are going to change on your own time so yeah just don't take it to heart babe you're gonna learn you're gonna live you're gonna grow it's a part of growing but I really wanted to talk to you guys about how to deal with a breakup because breakups happen it's human like it's gonna happen and if you're really in love or really like this person it's going to hurt okay it's gonna hurt so bad you're gonna feel like why did I even date him in the first place? Why would I even give him a chance? He broke my heart. I want to shoot him in his face. Like, you're going to feel all of those emotions. Or you're going to feel really depressed and just, like, sad and don't want to talk to your friends. You don't want to go out. You don't want to do anything because you feel like you're going to see him. Or I've been there, babe. I have been there. And I just want to tell you, when you're trying to make a decision to break up with somebody or if you are not comfortable in the relationship, the first thing you need to do is make a list. Make a list of the good things in your relationship and make a list of the bad things. If the bad overweighs the good, cut it, cut it, baby, cut it because you're going to have another boyfriend. It's going to keep, it's a cycle until you find that person that you feel like, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice all of this until you find that person keep keep cutting it okay well make that list and if the bad overweighs the good let it go if the good overweighs the bad give it another go like keep trying don't give up next I would say acknowledge what you did wrong in the relationship and what you didn't do in the relationship how could have it been avoided the reason y'all broke up or prior to that what were the things that led up to that you have to keep yourself accountable that's the biggest thing there are two people in a relationship either the guy is just like yeah no I don't want to be with you anymore or you're like yeah no I don't want to be with you anymore it's a reason behind that there has been things that has been done prior to that unless he's just cheating or just out here not trying to be with you no more or you just don't like him because he don't got money just say that 
just say that like don't be lying to people it 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 messes up the process of healing being in a space of annoying so be honest with your partner acknowledge what you did and didn't do because nobody is perfect absolutely no one is perfect we all make mistakes okay all right talk to somebody you can confine in not just your friends that you could really talk to somebody that actually cares about your feelings like your sister or your brother somebody that actually takes your emotions into consideration and don't just brush them off someone that's able to give you an outside source an outside you know someone outside of your relationship that does not know both sides or does know both sides either or just somebody that really cares about your personal feelings because when you're hurting baby you're hurting and you do not need to be around friends that's telling you girl fuck him you don't need him he don't deserve you you don't need that because in your head that was the guy for you okay so surround yourself with people that generally care about your emotions okay when you find yourself getting depressed um i encourage you to do something that you enjoy doing something that you have control like for instance when i was sad and like really just in my head i would do my makeup even if i don't post it or even if i don't record it i would do my makeup just to sit down and look at myself and be like you're gorgeous like okay i know you're you're hurting right now but this person that is here is still here and I need you to bring her back up, okay? So do something that you have control. Some, something somewhere that you have the control in the situation, okay? Put yourself and surround yourself with positivity and love, okay? Because negative space is very, very, very bad for someone that's already triggered. So do not put yourself in a space that you're easily triggered or your trauma is easily accessible. You need to surround yourself with calm, peaceful, and loving people, okay? And I'm saying this because I have been around the total opposite and it was just so dragging like i had to isolate myself from these people because they were not helping me heal at all so yes exclude yourself from anything that is negative it's not good for you especially when you're going through a breakup okay um, and in your heart think differently your heart could be telling you i love him i want to do this again i really just i can't like live without you i want to be with you like i want to figure it out but your mind is like girl he kissed that girl and he didn't think about you girl he don't deserve you you was doing all these things and he wasn't even thinking about you your mind and your heart are always going to think differently about a situation but you know how people tell you listen to your heart no baby listen to your mind because your mind and your heart are connected but if your mind is speaking something over your heart it's first because it's what connects to your heart your heart has a different beat okay and i'm going to tell you this because this is something i recently just learned being subjective means you're a very emotional person you get easily distracted because of emotions that are surrounding you because of what you're doing what you're going through it the emotions easily um make you make your decisions or make you do certain things but i have learned that being a more objective person makes you stronger in controlling those emotions objective meaning right and wrong good or bad like you know when someone has done something bad to you you know when someone has done something wrong to you so do not brush the fact that you love them and ignore the fact that they did something wrong you need to be present in the fact that they did something wrong because if they did something wrong they could do something wrong again that love is always going to be there so the wise decision would to be make an objective decision before a subjective decisions because emotions are always there but what is best for you is what is truth and that is objective okay so babe i just wanted to tell y'all because i've been through it <laughs> your girl heart was broken like like i didn't want to do anything i was just so over life so those tips 
I hope you take them to heart because they are so important to me. Make that list, good or bad, make that list. Be accountable because there are two people in a relationship. Surround yourself with positivity because negative space is not good, okay? Only talk to someone that finds your emotions very, very serious, okay? Because there, there are people that don't, all right? And last, be objective do not be subjective emotions are gonna come and they're gonna go and remember life is too 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 long life time all of those things time is gonna go by so quick so imagine that one month that you're just sitting laying on your bed sleeping crying eating ice cream a month passed and you're you're you gained weight that you didn't think you were going to gain you have missed out on some some really big occasions and you're just missing out on a lot of things because you were sad but it's all about how you pick yourself out of it and what you do with that sadness how you get up and how you move on that is the most important part because once you are down when you move up you gotta move up with force you have to understand yeah i was here but look at me now yeah i was here but i could do it even better okay make a mad period thank you for tuning in to my channel please make sure you subscribe subscribe if you want some more content like this you want some more mentoring some more sister talk you know all that please leave the questions in the comment section and i will do it for you just for you specifically for you okay babe and i'm gonna see you next time peace what if that thing wasn't recording this whole time